Well, gentlemen. You are about to see a blank apple. George Appel? Is that how you say it? Appel? I think it can only be A or B. Oh, George Appel! <laughs> George Appel making some <laughs> making some jokes before dead. <laughs> okay. Hey, Ulysses, are you with me right now? Yes. <laughs> I'm with you guys, right? This is <laughs> A baked. B crispy. C soggy. D poison. Poison what? Appel. One, two, three. This, this is just the only one about... that makes sense. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just think Shout. about. So if, if he was. Wait, you got your answer that fast? Yes. I'm thinking, depending on era, it's either like injection or electric chair. I'm assuming his last name is, is pronounced apple. It's not a pill? <laughs> that is correct. Ooh. Yes. Electric chair. Oh. What? Wait, 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 wait. We're about to see a baked apple. <laughs> Please get me out of here. <laughs> I cannot. I need to go. It's time to go. But I get it, right? <laughs> All right, now some Santa sources say that these were not actually George's last words. Boom. That his actual last words were denying his crime of killing a police officer after robbing a restaurant. I did not get my blank. I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. Thomas J. Grasso. A. Lasagne. B. Ravioli. <laughs> C. A papa tart. <laughs> and a D. A spaghetti. <sighs> Mario. I'm trying to understand the context. Like, how was he saying it? I did oh, not I get my lasagna. <laughs> Spaghettios are for psychopaths, in my opinion. It's D for sure. Mm. Because if I asked for Spaghettios and then got spaghetti, that's different. Spaghettios. All right, show me your boards. It's D, just a D. Oh. Oh, yeah. all, my hate me, all my homies hate Spaghettios. <laughs> that is correct. Oh, okay, okay. I'm dead. <laughs> Spaghetti O's! Oh my god, I wanna roll! So Thomas J. Grasso strangled an 87 year old woman with her Christmas tree lights in 1990, nice. and apparently he liked SpaghettiOs. Thomas, you heathen. Holiday cheer. <laughs> hey! Get on. Hurrah for <laughs> blank. This is the happiest moment of my life. Death. Patriarchy, anarchy, puzzles. I want to say puzzles <laughs> so bad, dude. Ooh, every inch of my body screams puzzles. Hurrah for puzzles! <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, C. I mean, A. I chose death mostly because, like, if he's having a long trial and he's already gonna be put to death, it's like his case is finally over. If I were on death row, about to die, obviously I did some messed up. I want my last thing to be hurrah for anarchy. But okay. hurrah for death, listen. Okay, it's, tell me why it's death. It's death because, you know, when you're sitting in that jail cell, you're all alone, you're counting down the days at that point. So, you know, yeah. it's like the time is here. That is correct! Yeah. Yeah. Anarchy! <laughs> oh, we both Anarchy. Know. <laughs> that was my second oh, guess, too. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> George Engel was a labor union activist who right. was accused of bombing Haymarket Square in Chicago in 1886. If that's true, then he went out at his peak. Tell me, after my head has been chopped off, will I still be able to hear, at least for a moment, the sound of my own blood gushing from the stump of my neck? That would be a blank to end all blank. Peter! I Mr. wish he said duck and duck. No, really. What if like duck Slash duckies is like a slang term that we don't know. I'm trying to reread it so I can get his like tone. <laughs> um, whether it's pleasure or misery. How are you doing? No, because <laughs> Sorry, I'm you? trying to read it. That's not, that makes sense. No, it does make sense. I'm but trying how are you to get the tone. It. Three, two, one. We are in the same place. Messy, nasty, nasty. <laughs> I'm stuck between A and D. The misery to end all miseries, that's more literal. Like, yeah. it's going to be a miserable experience. I'm in between A and D because it could either be a yeah, pleasure no, or a misery you. for him. What'd you do? I did A! Is it correct? That's that's correct. Yes! Oh, oh my man. gosh! Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> he was known as the vampire of Dusseldorf because, yeah, uh, yes. well, yeah. you know, you can imagine. Did he eat people? He drank. He drank. Just, uh, yeah. Hurry it up, you blank blank. I could hang a dozen men while you're screwing around. <laughs> hurry it up, you lightning bastard. Blaster. 
Hurry it up, you hoosier bastard. Hurry it up, you sluggish rodent. <laughs> Hurry it up, you call me bastard. That you definitely made more bastard. sense. It's D. Yeah, that's what it's giving. Sluggish rodent sounds fun. It does. Lightning blaster. Hoosier blast bastard. Hoosier. Hoosier. You <laughs> lightning blaster? Like, what? what is that? I don't know, that gives me like Thor vibes. A hammer? Yeah, like yeah. A, a lightning blaster. Pick it up, sluggish rodent. All right, let's see it. I can hang a dozen while I'm screwing around. <laughs> You guys chose the same answer. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel The word we can't say. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you went with the unknown. And it paid off! Oh! Let's go! Hey, we didn't even know Amazing. what it paid either. I appreciate that you went with Sluggish Rodent. Because it feels better. It feels better. It's Who's Your Bastard. But Who's Your Bastard is correct. I figured. Oh. Okay, who's Hoosier? Yeah, who is she? And <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> so a Hoosier is someone from Indiana. Carl Panzerim, he was an American serial killer, suspected of killing more than 100 men in the early 1900s in, you guessed it, Indiana. I'd like you to give my blank to my family and friends. Head, heart, candy, love. I don't think it's candy. Oh, I think I know what it is. Just because he's a weirdo. I have a feeling I know which one it is. We know Ted Bundy. I know him. I know him. Yes. We know of him. Yes. Do you know what he did? Because that would tell a lot, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and say love. It was either love or head. <laughs> <gasps> All right, let's see. I did it love. I did love. I went for the safe route. I went hard, the kind of sinister route. Three, two, two one. one. The correct answer is D love. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. No! What a lame. Simple, nice huh. thing. After everything you've done, you couldn't go on with the bang? What a loser. Wow. I love. Wow. Okay. Ted Bundy had family and friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, psychologists actually believe that Ted Bundy chose his last words knowing that they would be broadcast to the world, and he wanted to portray the image that he was still beloved, even until the very end. How's this for a headline? Blank. Tater tots, french fries, headline. Head gone. I got this one, cause that's clever. That one's obvious. Head gone. But there's a theme in gone. food on the top, right. so. Look at his name. Oh, you're right. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Woo, get nice. Kisses. Oh, I just had a, a big brain moment right now. <laughs> I just had a big brain moment. I got it, Go I got show it. Me your what was your brain block? Okay, okay, so if he gets electrocuted, right, and his name is James French, <laughs> then French fries. What'd you pick? You went with head gone? Yeah. French oh. fries? Because, you know, oh, what if he's getting James electrocuted? French. Yeah. You used my own logic against me. Mm -hmm. James French actually requested a death sentence, which was not initially given to him, and then he killed a fellow inmate, and then they... Oh, okay, nice. Kill me. No. What about now? Go, blank. Robert Charles Comer. Go murder. Go raiders. Go fit. Go Robert. <laughs> I think he definitely stuck by his um, loyalty in the end. Go Robert. <laughs> go Robert. Like. <laughs> Any last words? Yeah. Go murder. I pick fish. I feel like why not? I think he was <laughs> he was stuck by he like the raiders. I think what? he was trying to be funny. He's like. <laughs> Oh, go Raiders. <laughs> what is that? I'm sorry. <laughs> what? I'm about to die and I want to go. go. It's like I'm a fan of One Direction. Go One Direction before I die. <laughs> Wouldn't that make most sense? Yeah, go Robert. Robert. I hope go that's going to be so fun. I swear that so I've heard so Go Raiders. Funny. It is. Go Raiders, no, yeah. Kidding. Oh. No, it is. Okay. <laughs> We're like, oh. <laughs> I think Robert Charles Comer was a diehard Raiders fan. Me too. You are both correct. What? <laughs> yes. No <laughs> way. No the way. Before, this like, man is what? a fiend. <laughs> so, Robert Charles Comer, he was sentenced to death for killing a Florida man at a campsite in Apache Lake. He also confirms that Raiders fans are, in fact, the worst. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Spark. Light me up. <laughs> Fire me up. Beam me up. <laughs> me up. <laughs> That's honestly what I would say. Like, oh. me up. Me up. Me up. <laughs> These are all good options. <laughs> me up. You know what? My name is Gary Burris. <laughs> it's giving like 
Star Trek. I don't oh. think Gary is a Star Trek. No, fan. you don't think so. For, I would only choose that one if it was like Scotty at the end, because that's the quote, right? Like, beam me up, Scotty. I just know I know the quote because of Nicki Minaj. <laughs> okay. The correct answer is C. Oh. Beam me up. So beam me up, Scotty. Yeah. I'm sorry I judged Gary. Oh, <laughs> are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why did he say that? Why did you say that? Oh, um, bless. <laughs> beam me up. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Gary here robbed and murdered a cab driver in Indiana in 1980, actually. Yeah, I don't think he was quoting Nicki Minaj. Oh, uh, look, he's <laughs> like, time traveler Gary? <laughs> he was trying to tell us something. Take me it. Well, like, me Take me <laughs> Go murder! Go hunt! Go Robert! <laughs>